Guybrush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about the Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Then who keeps up the law and maintains order? I'm the only law on this island. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide. From Lago Ligre! Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Oops, I think I broke the sign. I'll just take a little. Guybrush Threepwood, it's been a long time since you last came to see me. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. 
Didn't we do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Well, I'd like to have my fortune read. I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated the Chuck, did they? People only wanted more. You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. About that voodoo doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body, and from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Now go. Quagmires. No trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. Stands casual crosses for graves that don't need to dress up. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. This is creepy feeling. I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on.
okay, here is the big premiere of iMuse. Right? Yes. This mm -hmm. is the biggest, and I think the biggest ever, most complicated piece of iMuse music that was ever made. We had like two like full-time programmers who were doing nothing but programming the iMuse transitions. Because like game. it's a main theme outside, and then every time you go into one of these inner locations or inside the the house, it would enable or disable instruments, and it right. would change the theme a little right. bit. Right. Right. Yeah. No, iMuse was like absolutely amazing. But we, they put a lot of work into it, and they decided never to do it again. Because they're like, no one noticed. <laughs> I noticed. I did. There's no glass in the window. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. And there's no glass in the window. Okay, here is the big premiere of iMuse. Right? Yes. This is the biggest, and I think the biggest ever, most complicated piece of iMuse music that was ever made. We had like two, like, full-time programmers who are doing nothing but programming nice. the iMuse transitions. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Nice. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. How'd old Pegbiter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites. I don't want to steal his bell. I feel bad enough setting his alligator free. And it's already open. It's a bit on the tattered side. Who let you into my room? I, uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't! So get the f*** out of here! Leave me alone!
What are you doing in here again? I'd have to have a room first. What a dinky little door. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regular spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving bloody Mary. Largo reminds me of someone from like old like Barry oh, Boys movies. That's all you know what I mean? Have. Barry Boys? Well, mm -hmm. yeah. Or Squiggy from Lord of the Rings. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh my god. I just realized that's where I stole the intro to Full Throttle. Like I pulled <laughs> That's embarrassing. The way he pulls his nose down to the bar. It's totally... Oh. Mm. How embarrassing. I totally stole that whole Quahog thing from a Monkey 2. It's just also a lot of foreshadowing with the spitting and the spitting contest and oh, yeah. all There's of those things in there. Nice. Where's the spittoon? Oh no, the spit over there on the left-hand side. Oh yeah. Did we do a close-up of the spit flying or did we cut that? No, that was there. Was that there? You... Hello. I love Wally the cartographer. Wally has just been taking so much abuse over the course of the series. It just seems to be. <laughs> well, you know, we cut that it. stuff at the end of the game with, you know, him on the raft and all that. I oh, get, that's right. We cut the whole raft. I, I, thing. I get a lot of email from people wanting to know what we were going to do with with Wally and that whole. Do we ever show what happens to him now? Because when you blow up out of the, you know, the witch call, you blow up out of the, and then you used to land on a raft. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll find out. Blank. Largo's been here. Uh, oh, yuck. Okay, here is the big premiere of iMuse, right? Yes. This is the biggest, and I think the biggest ever, most complicated piece of iMuse music that was ever made. We had like two like full-time programmers who were doing nothing.
Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine, all mine. I love a house with that nautical look. Captain oh, Dread. Eventually did. I never liked his name. Captain Dread. No? That's a yeah. great name. I never liked his name. Captain Dread. It's That's a great both name. scary pirate name. You're wrong. And dreadlocks. Maybe you don't realize this, but those big chunks of hair are called dreadlocks. I think I think it was because the <laughs> pun was too obvious. Oh, there's something too obvious, not subtle enough in Monkey Island for you, pants dropper. Right. <laughs> well, it's because you're missing all the symbolism of the pants dropping. The thing I didn't and like was that you never see his face except for the very beginning. His head is turned the whole time. I'm like, this is so disconcerting to see just the back of his head. He could just have his head, he could have had his head just tilted a little bit like that. There's no way he would let me leave. Navy dreads. Tang's man. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man. I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Besides, Lago has an embargo on the island. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. It doesn't seem to stay closed. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. Making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out. Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Marty, tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said, 
I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Mom threw it out when she cleaned my room. What? You beat your mom with a broom? You should treat her better than that. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. The box is closed. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. One of my favorites. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. It's propped up by the twig. One of my favorites. That doesn't seem to work.
Nice. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Got it right here. Great. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? Ah, here it comes. Nice April Fresh scent. Again, Mr. Threepwood. About that voodoo doll? Have you brought me the ingredients? I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? 
Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Hey, what are you doing in here? Get out of my room and stay out. This castle, you're a pain. I can't believe you're in here again. Get out of here. Why? How dare you come in here again? I don't want to be that close to him. Every time I turn around, you're there. I... Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this. I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. Ooh. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no good, vicious, two bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh, well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make. I... What? I... No! That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring it back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's gonna be looking for me. Yes. He's gonna try to kill me! Undoubtedly. What can I do? You're already doing all that you can. What's that? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. 
The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. Me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time on? Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. This is a cold soup. Excuse me. I said, leave me alone. I can't reach it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How oh, gauche. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. 
Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great, job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man. Consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. 